Guardian of Miss India family, brand and operations head, Miss India organization. Please put your hands together for Natasha Grover. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sana. Thank you, Priyanka, for joining us this evening. Actually, we should give it up for these lovely ladies here. They've been waiting here to welcome all of you ladies. Louder, yeah? Come on, everyone. So these are our winners of Miss India 2017. Actually, I should say FPB Colors Femina Miss India 2017. I have my title partner sitting right there, Femina sitting right there. Thank God no one came from colors. I'm from, from colors. No, okay, fine. That's fine. All right, I'm just kidding. So, uh, thank you so much, ladies. Please join us this evening. Let's just start this journey. I know everybody from the press and media is waiting for this. Can we give a round of applause to the lovely kids over here who sang the national anthem from Muktangan School? That's not loud enough. Come on, you guys ate so many snacks outside. Burn them, man. Come on. Okay, I'm going to be as, uh, as real and casual and candid as possible. So this is not such a formal press conference as such, because it doesn't go with my personality. Uh, sorry about that. But yes, we'll try and have as much fun throughout this. And um, it's been, uh, what? It's been 55 years of Miss India. 55 years. Uh, we have uh, put our blood, sweat, and tears. Of course, not me. I was, I'm not that old, everybody. Uh, we had an amazing team of people who have taken this legacy forward. And uh, I must say that uh, we've had our visionary, our, our, our person who has guided us throughout, and that is our managing director, Mr. Vineet Jain, uh, who has actually taken the vision forward, and we are extremely indebted to his vision uh, that we are here today. Uh, so let's just go ahead and have a look at our audiovisual that is going to take us through some blissful moments of Miss India globally. Special moment for us. Uh, I want to actually, before I even start with this uh, journey, I want to thank the Miss World organization and delegation uh, to get all their lovely six continental Miss World champions. Can we give it up for the ladies sitting right in front? Thank you for joining us. Stephanie, our former Miss World, who actually crowned our Miss World, Manushi, when she actually became Miss India. She'd come down and she crowned Manushi again as Miss World in China. Thank you, Stephanie. Welcome. Come on, louder, yeah. I mean, every time, I mean, I have to give you cues. That's not right. You have to, like, just go with the flow, everybody. As audience, even you're a part of this press con, yeah? And, uh, and of course, who, who am I going to talk about next? Kids, who am I going to talk about next? Who? <laughs> I'm talking about our Miss World 2017, Manushi! <laughs> Thank you, Manushi, for joining us. It really means a lot that you're here today. And of course, uh, I'm, I'm going to be having a surprise for you at the end of the press conference. Uh, that's something I'm not going to announce right now. She's sitting right there in front of me. But that's going to be a surprise. Yeah. Coming back, we are 55 years old. We started a new format last year, which was 30, state, 30 states, 30 state winners. That format worked wonders for us. Thank you so much. 
uh, FBB for supporting us for, with that format. It worked wonders. We went to so many auditions. At first, we felt, damn, how, am I, how are we going to go to so many states, meet so many wonderful ladies out there to make this happen? And guess what? We were surprised as, I mean, it was like a good luck or I, what I would say is, we got some amazing bunch of women who joined us and became 30 state winners after those auditions. The Miss India organization team, you rock. You really rock. Thank you for doing that, all of you. And uh, I want to just mention that we had four mentors last year who groomed our lovely ladies. And this year as well, we have four different mentors who were a part of the Miss India family, who were former Miss Indias in the past today. They are successfully, uh, you know, they have achieved a lot in life. They are credible women. And I think having that backing really helped us pick the right people, pick the right girls, get the right team in place. So let's have a look at this audiovisual really quick so that we can have a reveal of our four zone mentors, everybody. Yeah, it's working. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nati. Thank you, Natasha. Okay. If it is a BB Colors Femina Miss India, it has to be Natasha here. Uh, thank you all. And uh, before, uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to become, uh, to be, uh, it, it to be a huge speech. Just wanted to throw a few numbers at you. 30 is something that Natasha has already mentioned. 1500 is something that I would like to put in your head. Those were the number of registrations we had got for Miss India, more than 1,500 number of registrations we had got yeah. last year. Yeah. In fact, I, I think they went into like thousands yeah, a little exactly. later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then there was this huge number of 2 million. Can, you, can anybody guess what this 2 million would be associated with? Any guesses? No? None? Those, who, those who guess right, they get a FBB hamper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Discount. <laughs> From <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes, exactly. We had a beautiful uh, digital video of Wo Miss India Wali feeling. Wow. That was a beautiful, beautiful campaign that we ran when we were launching Miss India finale. And it had two million views on digital campaign as a digital wow. campaign. It, it was one of our favorite. Can it we give it up exactly, for that? Come on, Wo exactly. Miss India Wali Let's feeling. Let's hear it for that. Y'all should go Google it, okay? Absolutely. Our ladies, y'all yeah, should uh, I, I would, YouTube I would it. I would request all of you to just have a look at it. It's one of the most beautiful campaigns. I'm really proud of it. And when we say Wo Miss India Wali feeling, it actually came from within. When we started working on the campaign with you guys, we actually felt that there is a little Miss India in every little girl. You know, when we started putting our little feet into our mother's or our elder sister's shoes, that's when we start feeling like a Miss India. When we start stealing those little lipsticks and makeups from their somebody's bags, purse, yeah, their bags. that's when we start feeling like a Miss India. And that's, that's precisely what we thought of when we envisaged this entire campaign. And that's what the Wo Miss India Wali feeling, it's the essence, it's the power, it's the dream of a little girl who's ever born in India. And that's what FBB does. We opened our hearts, our stores last year, as Natasha would have already mentioned, and we went to, to all our stores in all the states. Absolutely. We actually auditioned in all FBB, FBB stores. FBB stores. Yeah. For the first time ever. We all thought we'll stumble, we'll fall. But what the heck? We actually succeeded. And look at what we have got. We got a first Miss World after 17 years yes. of gap. And Guys, come on, yeah, give exactly. it a big hand, yeah. All the kids from Muktanga, you have to keep hand. clapping louder and louder. Absolutely. I gave I gave you all chocolates and sugar and all, all the whole press conference. Guys, so. whatever Natasha promises, keep her looking at her. Yeah. So these are a few things that um, that absolutely brought us as a proud partners of Miss India all over again. And we are really, really proud to be associating with Miss India again as title sponsor. Ten years of being a baby and five years of association with Miss India. That's something to talk about. And that's something we are going to carry it for a long, long time. Thank you, Nadasha. Thank I you like so it. much. Prachi, I, I like the way you've spoken tonight. I really, really, thank you. I thought you always loved me. Uh, always, always, but I love the way you spoke right now. I'm gonna actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, before, before, of course, we move on. You know, Miss India is, of course, about, uh, you know, discovering yourself, exploring and understanding who you really are. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's all about seeking your purpose. 
It's all about finding your purpose. It's all about uh, figuring out uh, what is it that you can do to make life better, not only for yourself, but for everybody around. And I think uh, uh, we aligning ourselves with Miss World organization has helped us uh, tremendously to actually go to 30 different states of our country, including Delhi, um, in case somebody says we don't have 30 states. Actually, it's 30 states, including Delhi. 2017, Manushi Chiller! <laughs>
and I, I really can't put names because it's a huge family, but I think I have my country to thank. Uh, beauty with a purpose. Yeah, actually, I mean, yeah. we want to know about this project, Shakti Manushi, because this has really created uh, wonders outside of our country, in our country, and uh, well, please talk more about that because we want to know more about that. Uh, beauty with a purpose was uh, something that I feel is very relevant today because when you do something, you need to have uh, you need to have a purpose to it. Otherwise, it's not worth doing. That's what I've always believed. Um, it was just an idea that I had as an 18-year-old that um, you know a lot of uh, inc incidents had happened that I had I, I had seen on a personal level that I realized I need to uh, you know be able to spread light on this issue. But uh, as an 18-year-old, I just took the decision, but the vision that to actually execute the project came to me uh, through with time. Uh, I remember when I first presented my project in front of the Miss India team, I think they were very kind to have shortlisted it as well because it was the most vague, the most visionless project because all it was was an idea and very small attempts. But uh, for me to stand over there, in and I wasn't expecting to be finalized for the project, but uh, for me to even stand over there and explain the project, I didn't know what to say because I had not prepared anything on that. And then, of course, we, they planned to take up the same project on feminine hygiene, and we presented in front of the Miss World uh, team as well. And I still remember, uh, I was in the top 20, and we had a viewing, and that was the day Natasha had landed in China. And I saw all the top 20 projects, and my mind just went, I, I, I was boggled. I said, there is so much good in this world that we can do be it for the environment, be it for children, be it for women, for everyone, for animals. There is so much in the world that we can do. And I felt so proud that my project was one of those projects because when I saw others, I was amazed. And to be in that group of projects, for me, it was an honor. And I, uh, I, I went up to <laughs> Miss Julia Mole, and I remember I told her, thank you so much for accepting my project. And she told me, thank you so much for bringing such a wonderful project to us. I didn't expect to win the Beauty with a Purpose Award, but uh, the moment I knew I had won the Beauty with a Purpose Award, I think I was not nervous the entire day during the show. I, I didn't feel nervous for some reason because I felt that, of course, we're all here. We did have a, a vision or we did desire to win the crown, but I think Beauty with a Purpose meant so much more to all of us, which is why the entire Miss World team and all my continental winners, Barney, Joe, Steve, everyone is here, starting from my home country, uh, on this beautiful tour that we're going to go on, not just on my project, but on many other projects on different issues that we're going to do this year. Because it's all about, it's not about what we have out, out here, but it's about what we can do with what we have out here and in here. And with this, that with our heart, I think uh, when we are able to use all of this with, with in sync with our heart, then we can do wonders as young women. So thank you so much, Miss India and Miss World, for giving us young women uh, an opportunity, the confidence that we can do anything. And I think this is something that I said in my final answer during Miss India as well, that you know, before coming to Miss India, all I had was a purpose. But when I came to Miss India, during those 30 days spent with 30 beautiful girls from all across my country, I got a vision, and that vision told me that I can make a difference in this world. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. I think I can't express my gratitude for being a part of my journey since the very day I walked into the auditions till today. And I hope that I keep achieving things not only for myself, but for the people around me, for my country, for the world. So thank you so much. Thank you, Manushi. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs>
And uh, just before you start, I want to say you all look beautiful. Please go ahead. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Stephanie Hill. I'm from England, and I'm representing Miss World Europe. Manushi's project stands with particular um, emotion from my point of view. Um, like Manushi, I am also a medical professional, so my background is in radiotherapy and oncology and the study of cancer. So Manushi's project is absolutely essential. Feminine hygiene awareness is absolutely essential for the appropriate treatment and prevention of gy gynecological cancer. Um, certainly, I think all the girls can agree with me when I say that the Miss World experience is like nothing we will ever experience again or had ever experienced before. It was a celebration of women, of unity, of diversity, it was such an incredible experience and we just had the most incredible time while we were there. And certainly for any aspiring um, Miss Indias, whether they be in the audience, whether they be out in the world, around in India, I think the best advice that we can give you is to be yourself. It sounds like a cliche, but it is so important. Be honest, be true, and know what you stand for, and basically just show us what a wonderful person you are, because you are all so incredibly wonderful. So thank you very much for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Come on. We, can we have a louder round of applause? We have someone all the way from England here. Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Andrea Mesa. I come from Mexico. And I'm also Miss World Americas 2017. It's an honor to be here. This is my first time in India. Actually, it's uh, the first time of everyone, except for, for Stephanie. And we have been having such a great time and meeting all of those people around India. Uh, I, I know this is going to be an experience that we will never forget. Uh, at, uh, the same as, as Miss World. And talking about M Manucci's project, well, I can say that I can relate with this and this is something that is inspiring us, not only not only Manushi, but all of the girls, and I know all of the Miss World organization and all of the people here in India and all around the world, because I know this is something that is not just happening here in India, but it's happening all around the countries, and I really want to uh, be the voice uh, in Mexico and in the American continent to tell what the, the Indian people is doing here, so they can, they can be inspired by you. And well, talking about Miss World, this Miss World has been the best experience ever. Uh, it was the first time I actually joined a pageant. And as Manucci was saying, I also was a very insecure person that didn't want to join a pageant because I thought that the ladies over the stage were untouchable, that were actually unreal. Now I know that this is not true. We are uh, just as any of all the girls that we can see in the street, in the store, whatever, in the school. But we, we took that, uh, we decided to take the opportunity of participating in a, in a beauty pageant. And I really believe that it was the best deci uh, decision I've ever had made in my life. So thank you very much, Natasha, for inviting us here. Thank, thank you, you, India, for, for having us in your beautiful country. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can we come on? Give it up for our... Thank you. She's enjoying the spicy food here, right, Ms. Mexico? I do. Yes. Okay, I really do. Yeah. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Maglin Geruto. I am from Kenya, and I'm representing Africa. Well, it's such a good view to be here. Uh, anyway, now, I just want to talk about Manushi's project. Um, I think it's high time. Actually, we talk about this menstruation, menstrual hygiene. Because, you know, in every society, if you want a society to stay strong, to stay strong is you, st you start with a woman. You empower a woman. Manushi's project is actually giving us a way forward in our society because when you talk about hygiene, it's paramount. And for her to come up with such a, uh, a project that no one actually has ever talked about for such a long time is such a very amazing uh, thing to do in life, especially for a young woman. 
So it's not just happening in India, and uh, like we always say, it's not something that is that still need to be kept under the wrap. It's something that we need to talk about it. It's happening all over the world in Africa. I come from a place where no one talks about it in some communities. It's still like a taboo, but we are working on that. We'll get there, and uh, we need to empower women, especially providing them the facilities that they need in life. So thank you, Manushi, for championing such a cause. And talking about Miss World, um, Miss World is such a, a, a wonderful um, beauty pageant. It's not just like any other beauty, beauty pageant in the world. It's something, it's an it's a platform, or rather it's a beauty pageant that gives a woman a platform in the society to talk about their views. It gives them a voice to wear their views in the society. It gives them an opportunity to be who they want to be and to go for what they want to be in life. So for, young, for any young woman who really want to be a Miss World in future, or not even in future this year, I just want to tell you, just be focused in life. Know what you want to do, know your purpose, and go for it. Do not let any obstacle define what you really want to do in life. Thank you so much. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Stefani Del Baje. I'm Miss World 2016, AKA how Manushi introduced me. The lovely girl who crowned your lovely Miss World. <laughs> Um, we love you. Oh, I love you guys too, so, so much. <laughs> um, well, as a Miss World, of course, I have had the opportunity of an entire year and now another year to travel and to work with Beauty with a Purpose. And I've been to many, many places and worked with many, many different organizations, whether it be providing food to early childhood development centers, a helping with housing, water, a, education, all of these things that are essential to life. And now here in support of Manishi's project with something so important as hygiene, but specifically feminine hygiene, to teach young girls and women and boys and men and just everybody that menstruation is something normal. It is something that we should be proud of. And um, and it is incredible. And I feel so proud of Manishi for, for, for having the guts to go out and finally talk about something that nobody ever does. And Can we give a round of applause for that? Come on, you need guts to really do uh, what she did and it's amazing. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for saying that. No, it's the truth, it's the truth. Um, it's, it's, it's good to see someone who is young and, and vibrant and intelligent have this dedication to promote something with such passion. And that's something that the Miss World organization allows you to do locally and internationally. It gives you a platform to go and to um, promote anything that you feel needs to be changed in the world. Um, for example, my, my project when I was competing had to do with uh, awareness and inclusion for children with down syndrome and and you know we have we have girls who have you know done so many incredible things like allowing uh, kids to have online schooling and bringing water to certain villages it's it really is an incredible incredible platform and for all the girls who decide to compete in miss india or in miss whatever country <laughs> um, I just want to remind you guys that this is something you can do, but all you have to do, all you have to be is very responsible and very dedicated and always keep in mind that carrying the title of your country is a big responsibility. But as long as you, as long as it is something that you really, really want to do, there's nothing stopping you. Thank you, thanks so much, Stephanie. Uh, namaste. I am Han Kim from Korea, and I'm representing Asia in Miss World 2017. That was the cutest namaste I've heard. <laughs> Just letting you know that. Thank you. Um, ever since I was young, I was highly interested in learning various cultures and languages. And I was not rich, but I tried my best to get scholarship or I worked for, to earn money to experience a lot of cultures. Well, thankfully, so I had myriad opportunity to study abroad and volunteer abroad and traveling around the world. And when I was in Nicaragua, in orphanage, 
when I was teaching them, not teaching them, playing with them, um, playing flute, I just realized that just sh by sharing my experience, by, by sharing my ability, I can make someone have to find their potentiality and to find their ability. And I just thought that why would we have to spend some time to war or terrorism <laughs> while we have a lot of natural disasters, while we have a lot of problems that we have to solve together. So that was the reason that I applied for Miss World pageant. And it was right. Um, during the pageant, just by watching all our contestants' Beauty with a Purpose projects, I could really see what's happening in the world, and we could come up with a better idea to solve the problem together. And now, we are working on, we are supporting Manushi's project, which is about feminine hygiene, um, which is also one big issue in Korea, and which is really important thing that we have to make our voice. So I really want to say thank you to Manushi for making this a chance and making my dream come true <laughs> and making me participate in making better world. And um, what was most impressive in India during our travel was actually meeting um, foreign minister of India for me because our foreign minister is also a woman and by watching women being have more chance and getting more position in our society it just made me so proud of being a woman so I wish um, our project can be spread out to more and more people and to whole world and I wish all the women and all the little kids and beautiful kids in here, and I wish all the girls that we have been meeting can grow up and do something for the world. Thank you so much. I'm going to come and give you a hug, all right? I think you need it. That was really sweet. That was really, really sweet. That was really sweet. Thank you so much for doing that. Thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and good evening to all these beautiful girls who sang the national anthem so lovely. I, I need to learn the words so that I can join them next time. Um, thank you so much for having us here. I am Solange Sinclair. I'm from Jamaica, representing the Caribbean, which is quite literally on the opposite side of the world. And it is so interesting to know that the same issues that we face on the complete opposite side of the world is something that is very similar to what's happening here. You know, being here with Manushi and all the lovely Miss World sisters on this project that she has so bravely decided to embark on has really opened my eyes to know that we are not alone in the different realities or difficulties that we face. You know, anywhere in the world that you are, we may be facing the same and similar things. And it is important to not only to change this and to change it through talking about it and understanding it and bringing it to light, which is exactly what Manushi is here working on. So the, the issue of feminine hygiene and lack of awareness around this is something that definitely plagues the Caribbean as well and many countries in the Caribbean where women and young girls feel ashamed to talk about or really understand something that is so natural to our lives. And so that is why through her Beauty with a Purpose project, is it's so important. Because, you know, beauty with a purpose is what separates Miss World from any other beauty pageant. Beauty, physical beauty fades after a while, but it is your inner beauty and who you are and what you stand for that is everlasting. And what you stand for in whatever purpose that you solely believe in is what is everlasting. So similar to Manushi, I was... Very much a tomboy, I didn't know what concealer was. I've never modeled, I've never done anything like that in my life. You know, one year ago, if you told me that I'd be here today, I would probably laugh. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not just being up on stage and having a beautiful smile 
and waving that that matters. It's what is the difference that you are making in your community, in your country? How are you working together and collaborating with many other young ladies such as yourselves to really make a change? And that is why it's so important for us to be here today. You know, I think that that through this Beauty with a Purpose project, you really realize your potential and just how far you can reach and how much you can achieve because all it takes is that one idea or that one vision. You know, you may not know how to get there. You may not know what you need to be able to make it happen. But once you have that belief or that vision to know that this is something that I want to do, you can and you will achieve it. You know, so dream big is the biggest advice I would give to any young girl or young lady that is out there that wants to join Miss India. Dream big, for there is no dream that is too big for you to be able to conquer and accomplish. You know, and have faith. Put in the hard work because it's never easy. You know, it takes hard work, it takes dedication, and it, and it takes believing in yourself. And through all of this, you can and you will achieve greatness. You can achieve the unthinkable, and you can be a pair just like all of us who, myself, didn't think it was possible, making a difference in many, many people's lives. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, the such strong women are telling everyone in this country that come be a Miss India, and this is what you get to do. You get to find your purpose. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for doing this, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Over to you. Hi everyone, my name is Annie Evans, Miss Oceana 2017. Thank you so, so much for patiently waiting for us beauty queens. Uh, we really appreciate it and again, we're so sorry we made you wait so long. Um, when Natasha told us to talk today about, you know, what would you say to the aspiring Manushis of uh, India? And I think it really struck a chord with me because Miss World is all about beauty with a purpose, and purpose is one of the most important things you can have in your life. I know you girls out there probably haven't really thought about that part of your life yet, and without getting too philosophical, um, purpose is honestly one of the things you need to find in your life, because I've heard from many people, I mean, if you think about it, at the end of your life, you can have money, you can have wealth, you can have power, you can have blah, 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 blah. But if you didn't have a purpose, if you didn't serve this other people, if you didn't help other people better themselves, then, you know, you look back on your life and what, what kind of life did you live if you didn't help other people and you didn't make other people feel the way that other people made you feel, you know, feel good about yourself and help other people achieve their best self. So I think that's really what the kind of advice I would give to the aspiring Manushas is to find your purpose in life, find what you're passionate about, find what's special to you, how you can change the community in your own very special way, and work at it. Work so hard, don't, don't let anyone tell you that you know, any, any purpose is too big or too small or too crazy. If you believe in something, go chase it. I know this probably sounds completely crazy to you, but just remember this, maybe in five years or something, you remember I said this, and remember that purpose and helping other people is the most important thing in your life to aspire to. Thank you. Uh, I think... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think I'd like to thank all of you uh, for joining me in this journey. I, uh, it doesn't look as unachievable as it seems when it's uh, uh, heard of. Uh, because of all of you, because we're working as a team, and Kim, I think you guys are the ones who are helping me achieve my dream. So thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much to these little girls who have come all the way to see us. I think we're even more excited to see you. Thank you so much for being such patient listeners. And uh, just one more thing, Natasha. Okay. <laughs> Please don't kill me for this. <laughs> the camera's watching, but uh, I know a lot of people mistake you for my mother. Uh, but <laughs> but I'll, I'll always be your proud daughter. Sweet. I'm as young as her. Just remember that. I'm as old as her, rather. Yeah. Ladies, why don't you all just take a seat? We would like you to take a seat. I know you're standing for way too long. Uh, now the floor is open for some media questions that we have from our members of the media. Would you like to please uh, shoot some questions at our lovely ladies here? 
so that you can get to know a little more. And uh, I must just say that this moment, at least I'll remember it forever, all of you together. Me too. Thank you. Likewise. Thanks. Media, please, go ahead. Uh, yes, please. Hi, Manushi. Uh, congratulations, first of all, for the project. And um, my question to you is that since you are here for a noble cause, uh, can you share any anecdote with us regarding your first period and who explained to you about menstruation and menstrua uh, menstrual hygiene? Uh, thank you. I think uh, any girl would remember the day she first menstruated. But uh, for me, it was like any other day. Uh, I already knew what menstruation was. Of course, I didn't know the exact biology, but I knew that it meant that I'm growing up. And thanks to uh, having very forward parents, uh, they had already spoken to me about it, and my school had already already discussed. So for me, it was something uh, not very unexpected in life. And I think I remember I just went out and I told them that I think I've got my periods, and that's when they explained uh, everything and about its management to me as well. But uh, it was a day that I, I would always remember. But uh, just because I, I knew that it was something which is normal, I expected that, you know, if I'm healthy, this is something that's going to happen to me. I wasn't, I wasn't scared or I wasn't uh, baffled at that moment. And that really helped me. Uh, Manushi, I know that you uh, have heard this question a zillionth time, and I have to again ask you that... The Bollywood? Uh, no. No, <laughs> no, no. No Bollywood? No, no, but uh, you were recently featured in Dabu Ratnani's calendar. So does this indicate that, you know, Bollywood future projects will be coming on your way? Uh, <laughs> or you'll go back to medicine? Well, uh, I'm only 20, I'll be very honest. And uh, I have my whole life to explore so many opportunities. Uh, definitely, I have always felt passionate. I've always felt curious to learn more about medicine. That is why I, you know, I, I've been uh, so excited about studying it as well. Of course, I'm going to complete my education, but if, uh, if I get an opportunity, maybe not only Bollywood, anything else in the world, I, I, would, I would definitely take it because opportunities don't come every day. And you know, I, I don't know what is made for me. And who said I can't do both? The next question. Yes, please go ahead. Um, hi, Manushi. Hi, uh, Nikita here from Zoom. Hi. Uh, uh, congratulations to all the lovely ladies on the stage. You all look extremely gorgeous. Uh, Manushi, and to all the females on the stage, want to know that what Manushi's beauty with a purpose is menstrual hygiene. So many years, all women across the world go through this issue, but still, uh, like Miss Oceana, uh, like the ladies on the stage mentioned that even women across the world also go through this taboo of menstrual hygiene. Why do you think about something that is going on since the day man and a woman were there in this world is going through, but still there's a taboo on it, uh, taboo on it, and people don't want to talk about it. Why do you think? Where does do you think that this uh, blockade in their mind stems from? I think it's communication. When you talk about something, you know more about it, and you're more comfortable about it. And a lot of reasons due to which we ha it's a taboo and we've had myths is because people didn't know why it happens. And you would associate blood with impurity or a disease or something that's going wrong in your body, which is very natural. So people uh, try to explain it the way they understood it. But now, since we know the science behind it, now times have changed. Now we even have the technology to m manage your menstruation. So uh, I think similarly, a thought process should change, which can change through communication. Um, and can I add to that? Can I add to that real quick as well? Please. Um, just on the note of, you know, there's all of this technological developments and science unveiling the truth behind menstruation. What's important so that we don't kind of fall back into that taboo is that we continue to openly talk about it and have open dialogue and discussions. Both men and women, both boys and girls, you know, the mothers and fathers have the responsibility to raise their daughter and to let their daughter know exactly what is going on in their life, you know. So this isn't just something that happens to girls and women, but, you know, boys and men will experience it as well because we live together, you know. So the important thing is that we have open, comfortable dialogue and discussion about it so that we don't fall back into that idea that it's taboo. Uh, one, one more. 
Uh, one more discussion that is going around India uh, is that uh, day leave for uh, when you're on your first day of a period. Do you wonderful ladies agree with this notion of a leave or do you not? I think uh, the day you're menstruating is like any other day. It's, it should be treated like any other day. Definitely, if you need a leave, then, uh, you know, the system should be considerate enough to provide you with one. But it should not be like a compulsory leave that, uh, you know, you could just take a leave because you're menstruating. Because that would actually mean that there's something going wrong. And that's the message we do not want to send out to the society. I think um, that would also continue adding on to the taboo because that would mean then that you are weak and you have to go home because you're menstruating. And that's obviously something that we're trying to change. So, of course, if you are in way too much pain and need to go home, that's a different story. But as Manuji said, I don't think it should be a compulsory thing. Yes. Any other questions? Uh, Manushi, hi. Over here. Seth, uh, are you a fan of Bollywood movies? Hi, Seth. Uh, do you want me to say that in front of media so that I get killed? Uh, yes. Yes? <laughs> I mean, so... Um, uh, I'll be very honest. I've not followed Bollywood that much. Uh, it's, it's because I have a sister who's crazy behind Bollywood and a mom who's crazy behind Shah Rukh Khan mm -hmm. that I used to watch a lot of movies, but I think I've always been more into books, unfortunately. Okay, but a lot of rumors are going on that uh, Karan Johar is going to cast you in Student of the Year 2. Is this true? I mean, we just want an You just call them rumors, then why would you ask me no, is this true? No, because we wanted, we want to know from your, your side, you know, is it is it true? Well, I think it's uh, Karan Johar who's doing the casting, so you should, you should ask him this question instead. But he said that he's going to make and there are... He said he's going to make the movie. Did the he movie. ever say that he's casting me? There, there, are, there are plans, there are plans, but... Did, uh, what, he said he there are plans of casting me. Yeah. And did me he too. approached you some way <laughs> or the other? Is it? Uh, well, like I, I, like I just said, that right now, as you all know, we're all touring for Beauty with a Purpose. And that's what's going on. Uh, and I think uh, movies is something which is very exciting. It's a very exciting journey for me. But uh, this is his job to cast whoever he wants to. So I think this question should go to him instead. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Yep. Hi, uh, this is Priyanka. Firstly, you all are looking beautiful. My question is to all of you. What is that one memory you're taking from my country, India? And this is for all of you. Go on, one Can by we do? one. Yes, of course. Go ahead. What's the memory you take back from India. Stephanie, you start. Well, I have many memories in India starting out from last year, um, where first of all, I visited the Muktangan school. So I do remember Come on, some of you guys' kids faces. Come on, for Muktangan. <laughs> they actually came to Muktangan. I don't know if you remember me there, but I remember you. Um, and I remember that visit is always something that's gonna, ha that's gonna be in my heart. And I think um, every time I come to India and in every city that we've visited, the welcome is the most incredible thing in the entire world. Everyone is so hospitable and warm and they, they, they just get so happy because you're here and it's, I, I love it. <laughs> it's a, and, and one thing else that I know I'm gonna take back from this trip in specific is all the children and young women that we've been able to meet and that we've been able to talk to and give the positive message of the and, and the awareness of feminine hygiene. Uh, Mexico, any any special dish that uh, any spicy food that you want to <laughs> <laughs> that you want to yeah, it's working. It's working? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, the food is the best thing ever. Uh, <laughs> the girls find it uh, too spicy, but I find it Delicious. Uh, I kind of, uh, I'm good at eating spicy food. <laughs> but also, as Stephanie said, the people is amazing. The, the way they, they get so happy to see you, I think is the best reward we can have. Uh, to see the people happy uh, makes everything worth it, makes all the efforts worth it. Thank you. Um, in addition to the people, can you hear me? In addition to the people, because you know that vibrancy is just is you know un, un, it's it's unmatchable. Um, the 
cultural traditions. You know, you look out into the crowd, you look out into the streets, no matter where you go, it's so colorful. You know, the women dress so colorful, colorfully, and it just, for me, that's just such a symbol of the vibrancy of, of your culture. You know, everybody has all these different colors and the smiles and, you know, and so I'm, I'm definitely trying to, to bring a few saris back for, for my mother and sister and my aunties and, you know, because I think that is something that makes India also so unique. And it's just, I've never seen anything like it before. It's really spectacular. Thank well, you. Uh, I'll also add on a memory since uh, I'm also supposed to do this, but... Uh, I think the best memory that I I would have, the best experience that I've ever had as a citizen of this country was when I came back home after winning. And uh, I never anticipated that I'd get this kind of a reaction. But uh, for me, it was <laughs> it was overwhelming when I stepped out of the airport. It was midnight, and I, I really didn't think a lot of people would come. But there were so many people out there, and the most beautiful thing was they were all shouting out India. So that's when you, you realize that you've done your country proud and that is the best memory I have of this country. I felt like a celebrity that day as well. I got mobbed by around five, 600 people just protecting Manashi. Wow, yeah, that was a feeling. Um, I think India is the most beautiful country and I'm so much in love with this country. The warm reception, it's just amazing. I'm so much in love with it. The food, although it's, so, it's spicy, but I'm managing, <laughs> but I'm loving it. Um, the culture, it's so warm. I love the colorful uh, saris that you people wear, the, the beautiful colors that you put on your faces. The culture is just wonderful. I'm so much in love. And uh, every time we go to any airport, anywhere that we visit, we get flowers, warm smiles, everyone just want to take pictures with us. It's so warm and so, oh, it's just a wonderful feeling. You can't even explain that. And I'm going to take that back to my country and tell my people, this is how India is. This is how we should welcome people. Thank you so much for giving me a memorable experience. Thank you. Thank you for coming here. It really means a lot. In fact, I think uh, whoever asked the questions to student of the year, Karan Johar, should cast all of them. You all look so beautiful today, really. Thank you for being here. Um, Media, any questions? Oh, you want to please go ahead, please. She's, she wants to share her experience, come on, go ahead. Um, as I told you, um, meeting with um, your foreign minister was really, really honorable. And also, I really like um, the girls in here in India. I love their voice. Wherever we went, they were like, yes, ma'am, and hello, ma'am. They were speaking it together at the same time. And it just made me uh, look back my life. It just made me want to do better than before. And it just makes me feel like their curiosity and their sweetness, their politeness, it's going to be a great inspiration to the world, I just feel like. So I think I'm never going to forget their voice. How oh, sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. So I think uh, before, uh, the, I think one last thing I'd like to uh, tell everyone, uh, share something with everyone, that uh, uh, when, we were, uh, when we were met the vice president of our country, um, His Excellency said something very, very special and something which I, I would really like to share with everyone. Of course, uh, to send a message out to the society, there are three most important elements. Um, the first, I would say, is leaders, because people listen to leaders. They look up to leaders. Uh, the second are uh, people, girls just like us, who are walking together in purpose, uh, who are able to portray themselves as icons so that people look up to them. And the third would definitely be the media. So thank you so much for helping us, sending across this message to the society and being with us here today, because uh, the kind of reach you all have, you can make bring a huge change in the world. So thank you for being with us today. Can we give it up for the members of the media here? Thank you so much for patiently waiting.
you're just as young and, sp and as pretty as we have seen you back in that picture in 1964. So go ahead. Thanks, Natasha. Thanks again for remembering me. I came on the 50th, now I'm on the 55th. Who knows about the 60th, though? We will uh, see you there, God willing. Uh, I am so overwhelmed by listening to all these beautiful girls talking about their purpose, their thoughts on life. And since you all beautiful ladies are from the six continents of the world, I wish that you, each one of you takes charge of your country and brings forth your dreams so that our world is what you all dream about. We need wonderful, educated, beautiful, thought-provoking ladies like you, and the world needs them. Maybe it's high time women started running the world instead of the men. So Miss World Contest is doing a great job, and I'm really thrilled about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Meher. I really want to...